All right, so here we go. All you gotta do to send information on a keyboard is pi auto GUI dot. Why can't you just do send text? Because send text works with something else. That works with HTML. That's if you're in a browser and you are sending text to a specific thing in a browser with HTML that accepts it. But all you gotta do is type right and then Hello, Hello everybody. And so now. You can. Uh, so let's say you have. So open up. Open up this. No, no. So I can have so, well, yeah, if you can get it you can get there. To be automated. No one would stop you. <laughs> okay, so mouse position here is saying it's negative 2523 and 49. So what you can do is you can do pi auto GUI dot click negative 2539 comma 41, I doubt that'll work. And then if you guys do a semicolon, it's one line of codes. And then as opposed to having it, instead of having it click and then you having to type it again, it'll do these two commands together. So then I'll just go. Oh, it worked. Look at that. Okay. Uh, apparently you can't click negative. So it just closed out of my shell. <laughs> <laughs> because, so what it did on my, <laughs> what it did is it moved my mouse, it tried to put it over here, but because I have split screens, it can't go, z it can't go to negative, so it goes, or it can't go negative, so it goes to zero, zero is on this screen. <laughs> So, yeah, that's how that works though. So you, you, all you do is type right. Once you're in a place on your screen where you can type, it's pyotogui.type right what you want to send. Robert. So is it better to continue to use like, like when we're on like a website in say Firefox, uh, is it better to use, is it send, send, Send keys. Send keys. Is it better to use that since it's only going to work with that specific? Uh, I would. Specific. That way you don't have to do pile. You don't have to import another pile to GUI. But if it, it just depends, right? I don't know. The way you'd want to evaluate whether or not which one is better is using that time dot time. Oh, Remember okay. that that tells you the time since 1970 to the like. 12th digit, the 12th decimal in seconds. Yeah. So you run it, put that at the beginning, that at the end, run the code, see how long it takes for one, change it, do it again, and whichever one is faster, use that one. Uh, you guys have any questions on that? Can you do like something wrong? How do you do like controllers? Like can you do Yeah, we'll get to that. So one of the things you can do is you can also tell it a certain amount of time to wait in between. Yes, Michael. Uh, okay, so um, I tried to make it so it would, it would, the code give an input and then it would wait for the input to come back. Yeah. It didn't work because it's still waiting for some input to go on with the code that tells it what to Writing work. object. So would you have to multiply it, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. You could probably do import pi auto GUI input. Um, Yeah, I just realized that. Wow. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Wait, wow. it's, it is really good. 
present to you Hmm. Maybe. Might, you'll probably do have to multi-thread it, but one thing you can do here is if you give it uh, Ha, ha, ha.